Hello and welcome to this very quick answers video. Now this is around this T16 radio, but it kind of applies to all of the OpenTX radios that have the graphical interface that you kind of navigate through in a slightly different way. Now this is for a gentleman called Keith, and what Keith is asking about are these two things here by the side of the model select. One looks like four gravestones, or actually little planes, and then there is a number beneath. And there isn't a lot of documentation about what these are or how they work. Uh, so Keith, thank you for asking the question. It's a great one. I actually had to go and do quite a bit of research to figure this out. So first of all, let's do the numbers at the bottom. That is the persistent timer for the model. Now you can go into the menu and you can set that up as persistent. And then when you turn the radio on and off again, uh, when you come back in, it kind of keeps tally of it. Now that's going to be useful for those of you that are maybe using engines um, that are petrol driven or engines that need to be rebuilt after a certain period of flight time. So it'll keep an, a track of that, but also it's a handy way to keep track of the total time that you've had that model memory active. The other thing, the thing that looks like four gravestones to me, uh, but obviously little planes, are there in the absence of a persistent timer to show you which model memories you use the most. I think the idea was originally that the more you use a particular model, the more of those planes get filled in. So your most popular models will be easy to spot because those planes will be all filled in. The, the least used ones will have none of the planes filled in. And that's the idea. But I think in reality, that's not a very used feature. So hopefully that helps. That's one of those quick ones, but that did require a little bit of effort on my part to try and figure out what they were. So they are just a view of the persistent timer that you have set on that model. And it's also a quick visual way for you to spot which are the models that you spend the most time with. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.